Hello everyone, how are you doing today? So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to replace your RAM for this one or how to upgrade your RAM. People are asking like uh, you have a two slot RAM in a task manager, it shows me one out of two. So the Windows will show you one out of two slot DIMM RAM uh, available or you using one out of two or something like that. But the fact is that they only have one DIMM available here and the other one the other ram is actually built on the motherboard but the windows actually reads it as a slot in it so we're going to open it up and show you guys so first thing first you want to flip it over remove the front and the screws and the mid and the back ones and we're going to grab our guitar pick and we're going to put the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover just right over here and we're gonna wiggle it around and we have to do this in the front and in the side sometimes it just comes out easy and sometimes it doesn't work. look at this mine just came out really easy so we're gonna close it back down remove the top cover I mean bottom cover and right in front of you that's the RAM right there now some people say you have to disconnect the battery to remove the RAM you don't need to as long as the system is off you don't need to do anything just make sure you touch the caddy on the hard drive so you can ground yourself that will be enough don't rub your foot on the carpet or anything like that once you're grounded yourself or you can just buy one of those grounding things that they have for the arms but I usually never use them so what are we going to do right now? And to remove the RAM, we have to pull these two pins apart. So we're going to pull these ones apart and the RAM will come in 45 degree angle. And you can just slide it up. This one is an 8 gig RAM. And now there is no more DIMM available in here. The other RAM is right behind this motherboard, but the chips on the RAMs are soldered on the board. So there is no point even opening, turning the motherboard over because there is no DIMM RAM. To put the new RAM in, you want to put it in 45 degree angle. Make sure the notch right there matches the notch on the DIMM. In 45 degree angle, make sure you push it all the way in and then push it towards the motherboard. You're going to hear the clips clicking right there. And the last thing is to put the top cover, put the fan side down first and push the sides down all the way down. Make sure you hear those clicks. And that's it. And then you're gonna put the shorter screws in front row and the rest mid back. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. And I'll really appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon.